To write the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus HCl, that's sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid, the first thing we need to do is balance this molecular equation here. That would mean we'd have a 2 in front of the HCl and a 2 in front of the NaCl. In the description, you'll find a link explaining how I balance this. Next, we need to write the state for each of the substances if it's not given to you. So we could look Na2CO3 up on a solubility table, and we'd find it soluble. So it's going to be aqueous, AQ. When you have HCl, hydrochloric acid, that'll also be aqueous. And then sodium chloride is aqueous. Water, that's a liquid. And carbon dioxide, that's a gas. So now we can split the soluble compounds up into their ions. On the periodic table, sodium's in group 1. It has a 1 plus charge. CO3 minus, that's the carbonate ion. That's a polyatomic ion. It has a 2 minus charge. Hydrogen's in group 1, so we have that 1 plus charge. Chlorine, 1 minus. On the product side, sodium the plus, chlorine the minus. H2O and CO2, they don't dissociate. They don't break apart, so we don't worry about those. So now we can write the complete ionic equation. Let's do that. We have Na plus, and I won't write aqueous after each one right now, plus CO3, 2 minus, plus H plus, and then the chloride ion, Cl minus. That's going to give us Na plus, plus Cl minus, plus H2O, because it didn't dissociate, plus CO2, which also didn't dissociate or break apart. So this is the complete ionic equation, and we can cross out the spectator ions, the ions that appear on both sides of the equation here, and that'll give us the net ionic. But before we do that, we do need to take into account these subscripts and the coefficients. The 2 here means we have two sodium ions. We only have the one carbonate ion. And the coefficient of 2 applies to everything here. So we have two hydrogen ions, two chloride ions. Over on the product side, we have two sodium and then the two chlorine, just the water and just the carbon dioxide. Let's cross things out and get our net ionic equation. We have 2Na here, and on the product side, 2Na. Cross those out. Carbonate, I don't see it. H plus 2Cl, 2Cl, we can cross that out. And that's all we can cross out. With this, we can write the net ionic equation. And that'll look like, this is Dr. B with the net ionic equation for Na2CO3 plus HCl, sodium carbonate plus hydrochloric acid. Thanks for watching.